The GigaCheck, a two-trick pony, is a tool to help technicians verify the service level agreement to the home via uh, Ethernet or a, a wired backhaul. And then it's also to test the Wi-Fi throughout different areas of the home uh, where the customer expects Wi-Fi. So a perfect use case would be basically a customer calls the technician or Cox or whoever it may be and says, hey, you know, I paid for 100 meg and I'm not getting the service that I want. Technician comes to the home, hooks up the Air Scout giga check to the residential gateway, confirms that they're getting, you know, roughly 100 meg or anything up to a gigabit speed and then says, look, Mr. Customer, you're getting exactly what you paid for. Let me test your area, uh, test your home via Wi-Fi and then I will show you if there's any variances and then from that point forward you can upsell them, um, you can move the router, multiple things can happen that we can talk about. You test uh, up to a gigabit via wired and you test up to the theoretical 1.3 gigabits per second um, via Wi-Fi. This product, unlike the other Air Scout products, does not emit an SSID. So you won't be connecting directly to the actual hardware. The way the workflow is, is basically the application walks you through um, connecting um, via wired and connecting via wireless, and then you basically run the two tests. I'm actually going to do a live demo of this. Uh, we have a gateway set up right next to us. It's called Chris Wi-Fi. And you're actually going to connect to the customer's gateway. You are not connecting to the Air Scout. From this point, it becomes very simple. So when you first open the application, it says connect Air Scout to residential gateway with Ethernet cable. So it's very simple, walks you right through. You actually can't even advance past the stage until you plug it in. Successfully connected to the gateway. It gives you the option to test 2.4 or 5 via the app. Now, however you connect your phone to the gateway it doesn't matter. They don't have to be the same. So you can connect your phone to the gateway on Chris Wi-Fi or Chris Wi-Fi 5G. When you go in the application, you can select either one to test. Okay, so you see I selected Chris Wi-Fi 5G and I put in the password and then you're all good to go and connect it. The next thing it's gonna do is ask you to enter in your call ID and your tech ID. You enter in some information beforehand so you can find this in the cloud and then you hit create report. Once you've done that, it brings you to the test screen. When you hit Ethernet speed check, so I'm going to go ahead and hit run uh, Ethernet speed check. Now we did add um, UCLA's privacy policy to here. If you don't want to show it again, you can just go ahead and check that, check that box. And you guys see it does a basic download, upload, and ping and the download upload up to a gigabit. Very, very easy to use. Very basic information here. So we verified now um, that the customer has, you know, whatever their service level agreement was. You see the logos for the ethernet speed check and the Wi-Fi speed check are green. If one of them is not connected, it'll be orange. So that's a very easy visual way to tell if you're connected or not. I'm going to disconnect the GigaCheck from the residential gateway and you're going to see it go orange. So when you click on Wi-Fi, you get a little bit more information than you do with the Ethernet. You get some real-time measurements up top. That's what the signal noise, signal to noise ratio and fire rate are. Green is obviously, the green check is good, the red X is bad. Your phone is not what is taking the measurements. It is the Air Scout GigaCheck. So you unplug the GigaCheck, uh, you unplug the Ethernet cable that's connected to the gateway, and you actually walk the physical uh, master around the home to areas that the customer expects Wi-Fi. Okay, so the top four are live, and then the bottom five will be measured once we hit the button. And you can also switch your network from the screen as well. One thing you can also do is choose uh, which portion of the home you're standing in. Master bedroom, and then start test. 
Again, there's uh, both LEDs lit up on the Air Scout. One of them is now flashing because it's testing. Okay, so the um, bottom five measurements are fixed. The transmission um, success rates, the um, download, upload, and ping, and the top four are still variable uh, as you move around. Those are live measurements. So once you're done with that, you go ahead, you can go back. Um, you see we still have the Ethernet speed check orange because we're not connected via Ethernet. You can go to your results, and you see both of the tests you've run. As you run more tests, um, this will populate. Tells you the time, obviously the measurements, and what type of test. And then um, over here when you hit uh, the cloud in the upper right corner, you see how many Ethernet tests, how many Wi-Fi tests. You can edit your information and upload it to the cloud. So it's very simple. You walk in, connect, connect, test, test, upload, done.